Hello and welcome to our numeracy and literacy support presentation. My name is Mr Murray and I'm the numeracy coordinator and then we also have Mrs Kumain who is the literacy coordinator here at YHT. Okay now there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about. Okay the first thing being our assessments, okay the national numeracy tests, national reading tests which are all online and along with the intervention programs that we provide here at YHT. So these assessments, okay, these reading and numeracy assessments, uh, pupils sit them twice a year, okay, normally in the Christmas term and in the summer term. However, the reading assessments this year will be in January just because of laptop availability. Okay, so all three assessments will be on Hub and pupils will be, be, will be provided with usernames and passwords. Okay, those who are in year seven and year eight, you might be able to remember your ones from primary school. You can't use them anymore. This is all brand new and you have usernames and passwords ready to use for them. So with these numeracy assessments, okay, procedural being the mathematical skill, reasoning being the problem solving. Well, with the reasoning, we are allowed use of a calculator. Okay, now we have a few here in school, but not that many, not enough for everyone. So my advice would be to invest in a calculator that you can use you might as well buy it now and use it all the way through then until the end of year 11 okay and that'd be one of these here okay it's a casio um, fx 85 gtx okay sounds really posh and that there does absolutely everything you need all the way up to uh, end of year 11. it has trigonometry, uh, trigonometry functions has a fraction button everything for years seven and eight okay the cheap ones will suffice however I would invest in one of these because it makes maths a lot, lot easier, especially with the size of the screen on the calculator. Okay, so as I said, we the pupils will sit these assessments twice, and then the highest mark that they, they, they've, they've um, achieved will be then the one that they get then in the following September. Now what happens, all of the pupils in the whole country, they sit these assessments, and then all the data is collected, and then uh, the Welsh Assembly Government then, they then standardise the scores. And what that means is they'll say that 100 as a standardised score is the average, and then we'll go down, and then we'll go up. Okay, so this little table here says that 100 is sp like spot on for national average. So they say here between 95 and 104, it's average um, for the age group, 85 to 94 is low average, et cetera, et cetera. You can see that on there. Okay, now we're obviously, we're trying to make sure we're average and trying to go a little bit higher and just trying to improve everyone's scores. Okay, so all of the skill, schemes of work, okay, that we're doing in school obviously is geared towards this to try and help push these little levels even further. Okay, so things that we're doing in school, well, in YHT, if we notice that someone is struggling or dropping down in literacy and numeracy, then we can put some things in place like intervention, okay? This might be as little groups, okay? With our numeracy or literacy support teachers, or those people then may join classes, classroom teachers and different classes to help them and offer services there as well. Okay, so our numeracy and literacy intervention progress plan looks like this, okay? So we have a standardized score, which comes um, to us then in the September, and we'll analyze it. And then, especially for numeracy, we like to look and aim for pupils that score between 90 and 95, okay? And then push them along, and this is where we'll have support to improve your confidence and attainment within mathematics, numeracy, and literacy. And that's a key word there, is confidence, okay? We find that that is the, the biggest barrier, really, to helping people progress, is just confidence, okay? And the more we use numeracy, okay, it's about literacy as well, the more we use it, the more confident we become, which will obviously help us with our attainment levels. So the progress of the pupils will be constantly informally assessed by uh, support teachers and using a variety of different strategies. Okay, then each pupil then will have um, a RAG rating for, for every half term to see how they get on with their progress with the intervention. And if your support teacher and your teacher feel like you have made sufficient progress, then we might feel then, okay, maybe you don't need that anymore sort of thing. And then maybe someone else might want to join the program or we might advise for someone to join the program to help raise their standardized score as well. Okay, so that's the intervention. We have Mrs. Bradley and Mrs. Brown, our experienced literacy and numeracy support teachers 
who will ascertain your child's individual needs and work to ensure that reading skills and strategies are developed in meaningful ways. Okay, we try and make it as kinesthetic and make it as fun as it possibly can to try and obviously help the pupils really consolidate um, their understanding. So we have proven success in lifting reading and numeracy scores. Okay, we make a note every year of all the pupils that, that receive the intervention and the progress those pupils make is absolutely outstanding. Okay, so these support teachers have a massive, massive impact in progress and attainment levels. Well, small group work gives opportunities to talk and work through text in ways uh, that develop the reader behaviours which are needed for success in school. Okay, so you might look at that and think that's just literacy. But as I said, remember what we said about the procedural and reasoning. Reasoning is the problem solving. Okay, problem solving questions, you have to be able to understand the key words. Okay, so this literacy intervention opens doors with the numeracy as well. So they're very much interlinked across the whole curriculum. Okay, reading skills really do open the doors that can help you progress in so many different subject areas. So how, how can parents and guardians help at home then? Okay, talk through tasks, okay, done in school and at home, okay. Talk to your, to your sons and daughters to see how they're getting on and try and get that, that sort of rapport with them. Okay, I know it's difficult, but try and get them to open up when they're struggling. Okay, it's easy to say when things are going well, but it's hard to try and say when things are not going quite so well. Okay, so provide daily and weekly reading time. Okay, especially when people's getting the secondary school, we tend to not really do some reading as such like you do in primary school. Yet we need to keep that going, okay? But that needs to happen at home, okay? It really, really, really does. Allow your children to be involved with using money, okay? So it's just chopped off there on the PowerPoint, okay? Money is a key skill that everyone needs in everyday life, okay? I'm not saying to talk, you know, talk about your, your um, complete income and expenditures at home. But just let them be involved in little tasks, okay? Budgeting, change calculations, these little things using decimals, maths in everyday life will have a huge, huge impact. But the use of time, okay? The amount of pupils that can't tell their time is quite alarming at times, okay? So just using time, using a clock, um, just talking about the different denominations will make a huge difference. I've put a TTRS. Okay, times tail rock stars. Okay, that's like my sort of baby here in school. Okay, every pupil in the school has a username and password to TT Rockstars. Okay, if you don't know yours, email me and I can easily send it to you, no problem at all. Okay, it's about making um, making pupils right faster using times tables, but all online or an app on your phones. Okay, you've also got numbots here as well. Okay, so for the year seven pupils, even the year eight pupils that need help with really, really basic number skills, maybe that's the application for you, okay? Exactly the same usernames and passwords for Numbots is what it is, TTRS, okay? And that will really, really help people at home. And then just play number games, okay? Board games that have numbers in will make a huge difference. Read to your children, how about some weird games? Okay, it's getting close to Christmas now, we're starting to think about those board games, okay? Things like Boggle, Scrabble will make a huge, huge difference. I've got IXL and other literacy-based apps. And then some, some little things at the end here, sleep. Sleep is extremely, extremely important. The amount of boys and girls in school here are saying that they're on their phones to really, really late at night, or they've got their, their phones in the room. How about having a bit of a phone break? Eight o'clock, you take the phones, put them on charge, get them out of the way, okay? The amount of people that are spending all night on these phones really, really is alarming. And having breakfast to switch the brain on, okay? Just trying to make sure that these boys and girls wake up a little bit earlier to have a bit of breakfast in the morning to get ready to school and be charged, ready to go and fueled for the day. So feedback, if you want any more information or support, please get in touch with either myself or Mrs. Q Man here at YHT, okay? Hope that helps. Um, we're really looking forward to hearing from you all. And don't forget, obviously, especially with TT Rockstars, if you need using this password, give me a shout and I'll send it to you via email.